Hello gamers, geeks and gays, and I'm sorry. This episode isn't gonna be the same as the others, because I messed up. I went to record this morning, um, and I got like a two loops in. I did like an extra long video for you guys as a bit of a treat. Felt like it was going really well. We, did, we made some fantastic discoveries. Then I realized I wasn't recording. And I didn't feel right going back in and just pretending. Um, because first of all, you guys would know, um, it, it doesn't come up with ship logs if you, you know, revisit things. There's, there's, there's just a bunch of reasons why it wouldn't work. So I felt like I'd be transparent. I, I, did, community, I did a community post. I let the guys know in Discord. Um, so this episode isn't going to be me necessarily discovering things. This is going to be me showing you what I discovered. I'm sorry. Um, to be fair, I'm more annoyed that I've kind of I've got all this way and I've never made a mistake like this before. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'll try not to beat myself up over it too, too much. Um, so again, I apologise. The next episode will be back to how it was. I'm going to be extra sure from now on that this doesn't happen. It's just one of those things. I think I'm just exhausted um, from being at work a lot. And I'm really irritable at the moment because of my hay fever. My left eye is continuously just weeping. And now the skin around my eye is like really sore from where I'm dabbing it. Um, so I'm a bit cranky, but it is what it is. So, time to show you guys what I got up to, just so we're all on the same page, so we all know whereabouts I've got to, and there won't be any spoilers um, being shared for things that you guys think I've seen that I haven't, in fact, seen. I could go and show you on the ship log, but personally, I want to go through and show you in person the things that I discovered um, as best as I can. I am going to have to do these in a bit of a roundabout way. The main things that we did, I found Chert. I said hello to Chert. And I love them. I love the character design. Um, I think they're a fantastic character. Um, they were a lot smaller than I was expecting. I will admit, um, but I love them. We had a chat with Chert. Then I discovered, um, well, I, I managed to yeet myself through the gravity cannon, but that's a, that's a completely different, that's a different story. Um, got myself back here at the beginning of the next loop and we went exploring, primarily down the lake bed. Because I discovered things, um, primarily to do with the quantum stones, right? And you guys know, you know, you'll you'll have done this, so um, this isn't particularly spoiler material for you guys. But I found the the wandering stone down here, and I'm just gonna go showcase you guys it just just to prove it, just to prove that I know what I'm on about. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And I was really proud of myself. I figured out that something was going on. I figured out there was a way to use the stone. Right? Um, it took me a little while. And I'm really annoyed that you guys couldn't see the, the footage. Because I... I essentially... I, was, I got to the bit with the the room where there's a bunch of no my corpses um, and there's a light switch long story short there's a light switch I didn't see the light switch um, and I was struggling for ages trying to figure out how to get this stone to do what I wanted it to do you know <laughs> Um, I did manage to get through all this bit, this parkour bit, first time. I didn't have any kind of parkour problems. I was a bit steady, perhaps. I'm going to have parkour problems now. But I got through it. 
So I, I was genuinely quite pleased about that because I'm notoriously, in in general, in games, not particularly good at the whole parkour. Which is why I get surprised in Outer Wilds, I think, because this game, there's a lot of stuff in this game that I should be bad at, that I'm not bad at. And that's purely because I've got used to playing it, I think. Um, so here we've got all the quantum shenanigans going on. Nice and easy this time. Last time it took me ages to get through here. Because it was just not playing ball. So, we found this room. Okay. Found this room. Had a good talk through everyone. So, I, I found the bodies. I'm not entirely sure who's who. I've got a feeling some of these may be... Oh, wait. The bodies are even moving. Okay, so they've become like... I didn't notice that. Everything in this room is moving. So they've become like quantum beings. Cause they've been... Does that mean I'm quantum now? Because I've interacted with that thing. Weird. Okay, that is, that is genuinely new. I didn't realize that. So I had a good read through. We found a cave essentially on my first loop with this in where Malori is saying help Calais has gone missing um, they were on the stone I turned around the stone and Calais are now both gone the stone returned Calais has not returned I do now know however that Calais is absolutely fine um, but it took me so long to figure this bit out um, I figured out that it was going to work wasn't working because I was on it because I left the lights on. Then I put my scout on it and got it to transport with the scout. So I was really happy about that. But when I figured out it's as simple as just that, I was, I was livid. I was so annoyed. I was so, so annoyed. Um, we found this bit, which is Calais essentially saying, how curious. Wow! And at this point, I'm kind of trying to figure out at what point did... So they knew about the quantum moon. I'm guessing they know about how, like quantum mechanics and stuff. But I don't know if the quantum... If these wandering stones are coming from the moon or if they're unrelated. But now I'm trying to figure out how we can get to the moon. Because surely if it's a quantum object, right? Also, I love Calais. Calais is, I think, in my top three. Um, no, my now. They, they, I just love how how this fella is writing. Just, Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned! And he's just like... He's like... Wait, this is the kind of diary I would write if I was stuck in here, um, which is just fantastic. Obviously, I, I feel like if we could blink or just close our eyes, this would be so much easier. I don't know why it needs to be in complete darkness when I could just, you know, do that. Um, oh, back there, there's another room. Uh, is this this is the room with the the text where we first find out that Calais is missing? Um, not this one. There's another one with some steps. Ah, this one. Okay. So this I did have a bit of a read. Which one was this? Um, so again, she's still very worried about Calais at this point. Turns out you can exit. You can actually access this cave from further afield. Um, which I didn't know, but I found that out after the fact. I found out that I could actually get in here without traveling um, with the stone, which was quite nice. Brings us back out to here. I also discovered I kind of made an Easter egg without meaning to. Right. So there's the eagle eyed among you will have noticed that I did. A particular um, thumbnail, right? I did a thumbnail where I had my ship 
perched on one of these kind of rocky outcrops. Right? I just need to get back to my ship. Why am I going leftwards so much? Don't go left. Go forward. Please. Thank you. Let's go and top up. So I had my ship perched on the top of a rocky outcrop. Right? Beautiful. I, I think it's one of the better thumbnails that I've done in a while. Um, I took it as a screenshot. Um, it's, it's a wallpaper. I posted it on the subreddit. If you want the wallpaper, feel free to jump into my Discord server and I will I'll give you the wallpaper. Doesn't that look really similar to the outro of the episode in question? Different ship. Completely different ship because it's got the two like observatory... Um, modules on the side instead of like the extra um thrusters but isn't that a weird coinky dink and that genuinely kind of made me quite happy also this is a really nice place to get a screenshot on the later. the other thing we found of course is the wonderful the fantastic the i love chirp and do they have dwarfism are they just an incredibly intelligent child? What's the deal with Chert? And why are they like this? Like, they've got a completely different kind of design philosophy to the other Nomai. Not the no oh, Nomai, the other Harthians. Like, yeah, it's still round. But that's really round. They're just an egg. They're literally just an egg. That's it. They're an egg with a drum. I also pointed out that the drum is actually really cleverly designed. I was thinking, how is Chirk getting all these different sounds from one drum? Because it sounds like, I mean, I'm guessing the actual sound design, there was a drum and then there's a, like, tambourine type thing going on. But you can see here how they maybe get different sounds. There's the drum. The drum skin is held with that band. Then there's a lower band that is loose and you can see it is loose. So that's how they're getting the rattling sound. And you can see that they're drumming sometimes on the wood, sometimes on the metal. I mean, it's not in time, but it's, for me as a musician, this was actually quite interesting. They have paid attention to this. I also gave Chert a really obnoxious voice. So Chert, in my head, went, Oh, goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. And I don't know why. But that's how Chert sounds now. Sorry. <laughs> if that's not how Chert sounds in your head, that's how they sound in my head. So we're going to deal with it. Um, Chert is here looking for Supernovae. Hornfells has kind of asked them to do that. And they they picked up on what we picked up, that the stars are definitely dying at an alarming rate. Um, although Chert doesn't seem too alarmed by it, it's more that Chert um, has observed two in the same day. And it's kind of like, well, Chert, if you just kept looking up, there's many more going off right now. In fact, if I look in the background, come on, don't let me down. Come on, they're looking in the background, and I'm not seeing any more supernovae. Never mind then, I was just trying to prove a little bit of a point. Um, never mind. So, Chert is here, and we had a good old chat with Chert. The only thing that I can tell Chert at the moment is that I found their um, notes about the Atoll Rock crater. And now the thing that's interesting here is I didn't really ever give the Dark Bramble much thought. But the Dark Bramble was not there originally. But what thing we do one thing we do know is that the vessel, which is the Nomai ship that brought the likes of a Nona to our solar system. There's some more supernovae. The vessel is on there somewhere. The vessel is there somewhere. And I don't know if that was done before or after the planet became the Bramble. That's one thing I'm not entirely sure on, timeline-wise. Um, 
But the vessel crashed there. And I feel like a lot of the answers are going to be at the Dark Bramble, which makes me really uncomfortable because I don't want to go to the Dark Bramble. I, I hate the idea of going to the Dark Bramble. It scares the bejesus out of me. The other place that's going to hold a lot of answers is the Ash Twin. And this is somewhere, again, I'm fairly reluctant to explore in depth. But we did start to explore it. Before I go any further, though, I did find another frequency. We've got the quantum fluctuations now. So I can actually find all the planets and pretty much every planet, as far as I could tell, has quantum fluctuations. Um, which, is, which is quite interesting. All the planets do. Oh, loads of funky sounds going on. And the quantum moon's there. I really want to try to get on that quantum moon, but I don't know if I have the knowledge to go yet. Out of interest. If I take a picture of it. Right, if I take a picture of it, it stays. Right, so. I hope it stays long enough for me to get a picture of it in the ship. I'm going to test the theory. Oh, no, the canvas is weird. No! Ah, sugar. Oh, honey, honey, do, 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 you are my candy girl. Okay, so, anyway, doesn't matter about that. But now, I will show you, there's a few things I did find on the Ash Twin. We had a quick wander over here. Um, and I did kind of find a few interesting things. I found a few heartbreaking things. So, I landed over here on whichever one of the warp towers this is. Okay, so we've established now these are warp towers. We know that. We've, we found that out. I did struggle to get in. Oh, 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 oh. Right. The door is broken. And I'll admit, I can't find the way in. So that'll be a thing for another episode. I'm not too worried about it yet. So can't get in here right what I did find is somewhere around the side oh it's gonna be around this side isn't it there is a kind of way in but I don't think it's to anything useful I can't remember what was in here okay so we had some writing and this is about yarrow and Pi and idea. So Pi and idea, I think, are a couple. That's the vibe I'm getting. Or they're giving off couple vibes. Um, at this point, they're both very fraught. So they're very stressed. Pi is trying to be funny. Idea is not finding them particularly funny at all. Um, and Yarrow suggests that they need to get away from the station. And, you know, it's one of the few things that the two can agree on, apparently. So they're definitely in a little bit of a mood with one another. And then I went down to one of these kind of energy towers. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe this one? I went down to one of them and I, I tried having a look around because to me there isn't anything particularly obvious that I can interact with. I tried looking for any kind of things I can read on them. Couldn't see anything. Uh, bye, shit. So I don't think there's anything I can read on them. I went all the way to the top of the tower. There's an elevator, right? And it goes whoop, all the way up to the top. Couldn't find anything to read. At least on the tower that I went up. Um, I don't know if it's different on the other. But this, if it's not obvious, is the same design as the high energy lab. Right, the high energy lab, the top of it looks identical to that. So my guess is that this is the, the kind of the Nomai energy transfer system. Um, I'm guessing that's where they're getting the energy from. I then 
right at the end. Oh, there's another thing that I need to show you guys, but I can't show you until the sand's gone all the way down. I then came over to this tower. I didn't come over to this tower. There was another tower. Or was it? There is another tower exactly like this. It might be on the other side. Oh, gosh darn it, it is, isn't it? It is. It's on the other side. This is new. Right, I'm, I'm not going to look for anything new today. I don't want anything new. Like I've, I've already established that I messed that up. And I'm okay with that fact. You know, I'm okay with that. So it must have been this one that I got into. Oh my god, come on. Why do I feel so lost? I feel incredibly lost. Yeah, see, that's what I mean about the, the high energy tower. So yeah, this thing, I came in here, went up. Da, 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 da. There wasn't anything of note. There was no, no my writing to read. I don't think anyway. It must have been that that I went towards. Cause I, I dropped down all these levels just to check. Because I felt like, you know, if there's going to be something somewhere, it's going to be on one of these, right? Wait, no. Oh, have I been to that one? Have I been to that one? I feel like I've been to that one. That's the one I've been to. Anyway, I discovered this casing. This is the casing. This is this is what they mined from Timber Hearth. Right? This is where the, the timber the timber hearth like mine. This is where they got it all from. Was it this one? It's gotta be. It's, right. How can I go to the same one twice? I've gone to the same bloody one twice. Oh come on, I do not have much time. Don't have much time, please. I'm gonna completely miss it again, aren't I? I found one where there's two bodies. I know I can't remember where it was. I can't remember which one it was. Oh my god, I'm I'm so lost, I can't navigate in 3D space. Uh, doesn't matter. I, fa I found a thing with two bodies. And to be fair, there wasn't really much else to read in there or to look at. There was just two bodies. And it made me sad. It made me really sad. It was a pretty depressing end. To what was otherwise an episode full of, you know, things that we found out. And I'm still annoyed that I messed it up. But... At least I've kind of I've I've managed to squeeze two two loops worth of exploration into one and just in the nick of time. One thing I did talk about in the previous, in like the, the unrecorded episode, was how I'm worried, maybe not worried, I'm, I'm genuinely apprehensive about playing this game now because I feel like every step that I'm taking is getting me closer to not having anything more to find. And that is making me nervous 
I don't want this to end. I don't want this experience to end. It's, it's too much fun. I'm too hooked. I don't know if going to places is going to, you know, progress the story too much. I don't know if I'm just going to suddenly end the game. I know you guys have told me it's going to be very obvious when I'm about to end the game. But I don't want it to get obvious. I don't want that. I, I don't want to reach the point where I'm like, ah, that means I'm nearly finished. Don't get me wrong, we, we've still got so much to do. We've got the DLC to do. And I still don't know how to start the DLC. I still don't know when I'm going to do the DLC. But I'm worried to explore the Ash Twin. I'm, I'm worried to find out more about the masks. I'm worried to find out why they do the 22 minute loop. I need to know why they do that. I need to know what happened to Feldspar. I need to know what happened to the vessel. I need to find the eye. And for some reason, finding the eye to me is like the least of my kind of inquisitive kind of. It's at the, it's at the bottom of the list, is what I'm trying to say. Finding the eye, I don't care less about actually finding the eye at this point. I just want to know what happens to everyone. But I'm really worried to find out. But then again, that's what makes this game beautiful. That's what makes this game the game it is. It, you only have so much time. But isn't that just amazing? You know. To quote Solanum, the universe is who we are. And I think that's what I need to keep in mind as I progress further and further down this rabbit hole. But anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today. Um, I, I've kind of mad rushed to re-film this and get this out for you guys. Apologies for it being late. But thank you so much. If you haven't already and you've got this far in the series, please feel free to drop a like and a subscribe. Join the channel. Join the Discord. We have a fantastic little family forming now. And I love you all to pieces. Platonically, of course. You're all amazing. As always, guys, I've been Sturks. You have been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part in our little adventure.